Hi friends, welcome once again and this is the 10th video of VMware VCP 5.5 vSphere training and in this video I am going to show you how to upload ISO image to a data store. So same, let's have some idea about my daemon environment. In my daemon environment I have one Active Directory server and one vCenter server and two ESX hosts along with my Starwind uh, virtual SAN which is my install on my physical machine and if you want to verify here is the Starwind is running. So this is my domain controller you can see dc01 i have installed ad and dns on this server this is my vcenter so i have logged in my vcenter server so just want to ch check out the data store so on esx1 i have connected with lun0 and lun1 and esx2 also i have connected with the same lun lun0 and lun1 so i am going to uh, like upload uh, iso image in my lun0 or you can say learn one so I'm going to upload ISMS uh, and like uh, my learn one first so browse data store right click and browse it's a simple process right click and browse data store and now I'm going to create one folder called ISO images and here it is double click on it and just click on upload files to a, this data store so we have upload file and upload folder both options so I'm going to select upload files and simply I'm going to upload I have connected with my network drive so network drive I have all the ISO images here so I'm going to upload Windows Server 2008 R2 image here so I can use the same image in my virtual while I am installing virtual machine in my next video so open and here you see uh, this is basically if we have a all file already here uh, it will ask you to replace so don't show this message again click yes and now you can see the upload is just started for image and it will take some time to upload the ISO image on my ISO folder here and if you want you can go ahead and close this and also the same you can see on learn one if you go browse and on the other ESX so it's available on all the ESX host the same learn and same ISO image so while uh, let's see if we create a virtual machine on ESX1 or ESX2 we can boot the both machine from this ISO image so it's uploading so nothing fancy that's all it will uplo upload the ISO and we have the ISO image there so that's all for this video and thank you for watching please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this please mail me on my given mail ID thank you once again bye bye